The only thing I'm, all I'm concerned about is making sure that Solinari and even my older kids aren't witnessing some big crazy fight. I'm struggling to know how to feel right now because I, I'm like, no, no, scary, scary, you know, keep the kids away from this mess. And then on the flip side, sometimes those interactions are what help. I'm having to balance it out in my mind. I'm having a very hard time sort of sticking to my thought process or sticking to my decision that my kids should not be involved. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, June 10th, 2024, and I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. All right, last season, season 18, Sister Wives. The announcement for the brand new season happened in July, right? So naturally, when things are about to get heated, get started, people sometimes have a propensity to come back online. Given the fact that everything during the off season, well, it's actually not really the off season for them because they're always filming. The off season in that like the show isn't on air right now given that lull a lot of times some of them will not post as frequently christine janelle mary they're all kind of posting mary's going to be on a podcast today but someone that has remained out of the spotlight has been robin brown robin has a very tenuous relationship with the public she doesn't want to have to prove that she is anything other than who she is and she apparently has stopped trying to win people over. For years, Robin spent time on her Twitter, trying to make friends with the trolls, trying to be best friends, trying to prove that she was a good sister wife and a good friend and all the things. She was even pushing her and promoting My Sister Wife's Closet. And then abruptly in 2019, she stopped. And then in 2021, the family all stopped live tweeting. And so since then, Robin's social media has been very sporadic. She does, however, keep a Pinterest. During the season where Christine decided to leave Cody, which was season 17, Robin decided to delete all of her boards on her Pinterest. She kind of had a little bit of a, I would say, temper tantrum because people had found her Pinterest board and were posting some of the snarky things that she was posting to her sister wives. Well, it would have appeared that they were to her sister wives. So then in response to that, she created only one board and one board only, and it's called God is Good. For a while, Robin didn't post on there. When Garrison passed away, she stopped posting altogether. Generally, the board is mostly about her being persecuted and her belief that everyone hates her, but she has God. This has not changed that much, but let me share some recent pins by her to give you some idea of has Robin Brown learned anything in the last several months? Is Robin becoming kinder, more gentle, or is Robin still everyone's least favorite sister wife, even though there's no sister wives. One of Robin's most recent pins says this. It's a pin of a lion and it looks like a monk. There's so much going on lately about all that's going on in our country and world. This illustration by Andy Stanley really spoke to me this morning. He, we, he asked the question, what do you notice about Daniel in this picture? Answer was, he is not looking at the lions, he is looking to his God. With everything going on in our world today, I think too many of us aren't spending our time looking at the lions instead of looking to our God. So instead of looking to the lions, she's looking to God. I don't really. Another one that she posted says, Jesus looked at the cross and then looked at you and said, you're worth it. I mean, yeah, okay. This one's a little bit interesting. It's a, he, the healing blood of the lamb. So Robin's big thing, before I get into this, Robin's big thing is that the Lamb of God. And I understand that people find comfort in, in God and they find comfort in like the Lamb and being a Lamb of God and being like this docile creature and that when you're in the comfort of your maker or in the comfort of your belief system, you feel comfort and safe with the Lamb, right? Robin doesn't view her, it, it's like weird because on her Pinterest, a lot of her posts and a lot of her pins have nothing to really do like insp like inspirational quotes, okay? So one thing I've noticed is like, for instance, let me just talk about myself and my own journey with faith. 
I was really big into Jesus for a long time in my life. Yes, I promise you, I used to believe in God. And during my period of being really into God, I used to pin quotes on my Pinterest, onto my Instagram that is no longer public. And when I was a big believer, I would post like Corinthians or Romans or whatever different like passage for the day that would keep me motivated. I did Bible studies and a lot of it wasn't necessarily about me. It was just like certain reminders to myself about how to live a life the best that you can be, like how to be the most authentic to yourself, how to live like Jesus, because that was like the really big thing at the church I attended was like to be like Jesus, like to model your life around Jesus and to how can you be more Christ-like. What I've noticed with Robin is that her pins are almost always about some level of persecution. And this could very well be because of the online hate that she receives, but if you're going to post on a public page that you're all about God and God is love, constantly pointing out that you're being persecuted is kind of, in my opinion, the opposite of what Jesus would want you to do. Jesus would probably want you to focus on the good things, like all of the benefits that God is giving to you or all the love that God is giving you. So she posts and says like, you're worth it. But her posts are almost generally like having to remind herself that she's worth it or having to talk about the lions and the lambs like the good versus the bad. And I, I fear sometimes that Robin lives in this world sort of stuck in that world of being like good versus evil, us versus them, which is very culty. And I think Robin is still very cult-like in her belief system. But again, this is the post. A rattlesnake bit one of my sheep in the face about a week ago. Deadliest snake that lives around here. The sheep's face swelled up and hurt my hurt her terribly. But the old rattles, rattlesnake didn't know the kind of blood that flows through the sheep. Anti-venom is most often made from sheep's blood. The sheep swelled up for like two days, but the blood of the lamb destroyed the venom of the serpent. I was worried, but the sheep didn't care. She kept on eating, kept on drinking, and kept on climbing because she knew she was all right. Often the serpents of this life will reach out and bite us. They inject their poison into us, but they cannot overcome the blood of the lamb of God that washes away the sin of the world and the sting of death. Don't worry about the serpent or his bite. Just make sure that the lamb's blood is flowing through your veins. And it says original author unknown. Okay. I had no idea, but sheep's blood is apparently like does contain some level of anti-venom and getting bit by a snake for a sheep is not the same as a, a, a human being getting bit by a rattlesnake. So basically Jesus is called the lamb of God and he was given to this world to take over for our sins. And so she is in her faith and she has the lamb of God in her, meaning she has Jesus in her. Very deep, like symbolism. Now, Robin is spending a lot of time on her Pinterest talking about being a lamb of God, not dealing with the rattlesnakes and the bites and the, the bitter venom from this world and navigating all of that. And I'm sure for Robin, it is not easy to deal with the hate online. I get it. She's also on a reality show. And sometimes I wonder like if she would just be a person and go online and just show us who she is and be like on her social media and be like, this is me, unapologetically me. And she would probably have some level of fans, but instead she spends a lot of her time focusing on the persecution and the hate that she's getting rather than trying to cultivate and nurture the positivity that could come from this platform. There's two ways that you can navigate a public platform. And I learned this very early in my work as a minor person, a minor public figure, I think, was that if you spend your time in the hate, your audience is gonna not like that. They're gonna be like, why are you constantly feeling bad for yourself? Why aren't you focusing on all the people that love you? Why are you getting down on the hate? And then if you focus on the people that love you and you give them the content they want and you deliver what they need and they connect with you, then you can focus on the positivity that you get with them. So I partially think like Robin has this whole social media game wrong. I feel like if she would spend her time just being herself and just unapologetically posting what she is and who she is and not worry about the negativity and like filter out the negative comments, she would probably resonate better with people. That's just my opinion. Like she's not, the way that she, plays the game on social media, it doesn't help the way that she's portrayed on the show. And whether or not you believe that Robin is the most evil, vindictive, horrible woman on the, the face of the earth, 
or it's just a, scare, a caricature of her on a show or that Cody's the mastermind behind all of it doesn't really matter because she's still a human and she still has people that probably would like her. And so this idea that she's constantly martyring herself and the victim of all of the hate, I think contributes to the animosity that people feel for her because they don't feel connected to her. But that's just my opinion. And then another one she wrote was, God is still good and he is still in control. Robin's posts are always like, God is in control and the Lamb of God and the, the, the Venom and the, the Lions. And that's like sums up her God is good Pinterest. You know, like I said, back in the day when I was on my Instagram and going to a church when I was very much in my walk with Jesus, for instance, back in 2016, I posted this and it says, I pray that God, the source of hope, will find you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So just feeling like hope, joy, happiness, not anything negative. Another one I post, what, but to you who are willing to listen, I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. Another one, I'm very happy now because I have complete confidence in you. That's from Corinthians. Another one, blessed are those who have not seen him and yet believe. Another one was faithful you have been and faithful you will be. I really liked Corinthians. Another one, but blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. Obviously, everyone's faith walk is different. And for me, my journey into faith and my journey into that time of my life, a lot of it had to do with uncertainty related to my son and just needing a sense of security and hope outside of like the chaos that was consuming our family with a child that had medical complexities. And over time, I ended up leaving the church I was at, but still like, again, like when I would view God and when I viewed it in the context of like looking to the Bible for inspiration and for help and for guidance, it wasn't to make me the persecuted one. It was more about like finding hope and Jesus, finding contentment, finding confidence, finding peace. And I sometimes feel like Robin misses the mark. And I don't know if it's because of her brand of like the faith she grew up in and the fact that they grew up in a lot of fear and this idea that like all fear, um, it's like us versus them, the world against us, like this idea that like everyone's out to get them, you can't, you have to lie to protect polygamy, the, the damnation is coming, Jesus's return is coming, like doomsday prepping, all of that, that's part of that church. Jesus is coming tomorrow, everyone get your stuff ready. And the fear of like constantly getting arrested. I just don't know. And then the fact that like polygamists are always are always saying that they are being persecuted against. I don't know if that's like built into her belief system. But if it is, I feel like a more healthy approach to faith would be instead of focusing on like all the negative, like look as your source. If you want to have faith, have faith, by the way, but look to God as your source. Like look at him as your confidence and your hope instead of I'm not going to pay attention to the lions. I'm going to be the lamb of God. Because even by saying that you're acknowledging the lions, how about just not acknowledge the lions at all? I don't know if Robin will ever change. I don't know if this martyrdom that she's on will will, will get amplified or or like mark if there will be a difference in her when we see her in this next season. Or, you know, I don't know if once they've been filming since Garrison's death, if there's going to be a marked change, but there doesn't appear to be a marked change in how she's posting on her Pinterest. So some people can change and some leopards just don't change their spots. Robin still looks to be wanting to play the victim and the persecuted one. But one thing I did learn when I was in my walk with Jesus, and I'm still not, a, I don't go to church anymore, was that you have to take responsibility for who you are. You have to take responsibility for the choices that you make. And that even though there's this big, there's this big world and God is your, you know, gives you the space, God also gives you free will and free choice. And not everything can be blamed on persecution. Some consequences are because of your behavior. And Jesus tells you that you should, you're supposed to love your neighbors love like yourself. Like that is the number one thing that Jesus said, love your neighbors like yourself and believe in me. So if you're supposed to love your neighbors like yourself, you're supposed to not be selfish. You're supposed to be selfless. And maybe Robin just can't do that. But if she could, maybe this persecution she could get away from. But what do I know? That's just my opinion. Robin is still 
very much seemingly playing the victim. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and click on the bell so you never miss a video. Bye guys.